right, guys, we should be live. Um, waiting. It's Thanksgiving, so everybody's probably... <laughs> Why is it so delayed? All right, whatever. But, um, yeah, we're here, and uh, Bandai taking a good opportunity to... It's Thanksgiving at its finest. Yes, and just unveil some, <laughs> <laughs> unveil some uh, pretty cool information. Um, new set, Clash of Fates. What's Seems pretty out? cool. Uh, <clears throat> comes out like January something. Is that like like the newest thing going to be coming out, or some other yeah. products coming out before no, that? No, that's the newest thing. Let's actually take a look at the oh, all right, Clash of Fates, January eighteenth. That's so far away. And that's what one, two months away. Yeah, two months away. So we're about two months out uh, until this actually comes out, uh, and it seems pretty cool. It's a theme booster, and it seems like the most impactful theme booster. It doesn't seem like one of those theme boosters where you're just like, I don't want to say irrelevant, but where you have to play. Like, it only works in its own, like, m like set, right? Like, the meta only really, like you, like the last one, for example, right? You could only play them, uh, the link cards can some of them or the majority of them could only work with like a leader from that set or something like that so a lot of it restricted you or you restricted your deck deck building like announcer you couldn't just be like oh my announcer deck is going to be i mean like a bunch of announcer cards are going to be a new addition to you know whatever yeah, deck that you're playing the last uh, that's what those were themed the world yeah. tournament uh, tournament power all of them were themes but this based one on their thing. but this one theme uh is theme. looking like it's going to shape out to something that's going to bring a little bit more to just existing decks as well as a theme. So you're going to have themes, but then you're going to have a lot more impactful standalone cards that you don't have to play in your Bardock's crew deck or okay. Freeze's army, Red Freeze's army. Which yeah, is that's something different. Really interesting. But it seems like there's a lot of new stuff that they're trying to experiment with, and uh, it looks really fun. Um, this is all the details about it. They're probably going to have the same breakdown. They have feature rares now. So what do you think, of, what do you think about feature rares? What do you think feature rares are going to be? Like some, what do you what do you uh, some cool art? Um, uh, future rares, uh, a picture from the show added to a card. Actually, uh, one one card is exactly that the Bardock one. Um, but other than that, I'm not I'm not quite sure. You know me, man. I don't, I don't say the rarity things so, at all, right? <laughs> I think a rare is a super rare. I'm just like, all right, cool. This card does this. Yeah, future rares seem. Uh I don't know. I don't know what else they're going to do with the card. Mm, maybe full art without... I mean, you have to put the text on the card, of course, so it's hard to get creative with it. But maybe feature rares are the ones with the, with the like, uh, words on it, you know? Like, where it says, like, uh, whatever, on this Goku Noob, right? Where it says, like, whatever. I forgot what it said. Oh, Here some, we go. some BS like that. Yeah, know, something that's like a that, super yeah. rare. Maybe. Hey, Jose. What's up, Jose? Happy, happy, happy Thanksgiving. Th happy Thanksgiving, bro. Woo! So uh, we're going to go over uh, Clash of Fates now. And uh, so third expansion and theme boosters. This is going to be another themed booster, which pretty much means uh, new, new archetypes or new little uh, characteristics on it so that you can play a deck straight out of the booster, which is actually pretty cool. But it looks like it's also going to bring along a lot of new uh, standalone cards, which we're going to be using to combat the meta, a few of them that people are really excited about. So without further ado, Dragon Ball Super Card Game website, you can go on to card list at any time and actually look at these cards. We're going to be using this to uh, kind of just read what was spoiled today, which was just blue, Ooh, only blue. That's a shame. Blue is... Uh, I want to see the red. <clears throat> yeah, blue. Yeah, yeah I want to <laughs> see the red too. The it, red looks a little more interesting. They're one. doing a lot of unique things with red, but... We're going to look at blue for today, only color spoiled thus far. And first off, we have the first blue leader, mm -hmm. and it's going to be Bardock. Bardock from the movie. It so says burst. It has burst, yeah. They're, they're staying with the burst. It looks like they looked they liked uh, what burst uh, offered. gave, offered, or whatever. And now they're going to go and bring it over with these cards. And burst, for those of you who don't know, send the top two cards of your deck to the drop area or whatever number it specifies which i think should be one two feels like a lot yeah but if you guys don't know burst sucks put it out there against mill almost against anything I like it just feels bad i hate like the cards i put in my deck are in my deck for a reason so me true. milling them i'm just like oh it's only things. really good hand in hand with sparking but i didn't really see too many sparking cards yes. in the set so sparking just works by itself like it, eventually you get it set up let's either you play overwhelm or you play sparking 
Fun fact, though. I, I did think of a deck with the Migra because he puts back three. So, like, you can sparking five is not the hardest thing to do. So, you still have Shenron to untap to. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I've been thinking. Creative. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of stuff here that's going to get the creative juices fo flowing. But this one is, uh, is a draw one card, plus 5k for the duration of the turn leader. So, pretty cool. But it has to attack a leader here. So, eh, good and bad. Yeah. Uh, it does have the untapped 2 ability, which I think is probably the most favored of the Awakens. This and is interesting. This oh, is cool. This Spark good. Sparking 5, now you have, your, I think this is like the infinite negate. When this card attacks, draw a card, plus 5k for the duration of the turn. So same thing as the front side, it's going to be connecting at 20, which is actually pretty powerful. But when this card is attacked, if a Barrox crew is in your drop area, you can choose one card from your life, place it in your drop area, and if you do negate the attack, what do you feel about that? Uh, you crit yourself. You stop like a triple attack from hitting you. Yeah, that's kind of cool. But other than that, you're, you're critting yourself. Um, it's like them hitting you with one, with a crit instead of like triple attack, double attack, which is not bad. It's just okay. Interesting thing about autos. I believe I'm correct on this. Uh, if you go, if you go like negate or something, and they go bad ring laser, autos take place after that negate, so you can go and actually do this ability. And he is correct, guys. Yeah. That is a, a ruling in timing. When they attack, the timing of counter activates. Uh, they respond with each other. I, I negate, I bad ring laser, you negate. Okay, now auto is going to happen where I can still negate the attack. Janimba has a, a ruling just like that too, so Bardock will be the same with his auto. Yeah, seems so, really cool. Very, de very defensive deck it looks like and very aggressive too because you're attacking for 20 so that's that's actually pretty it's pretty cool i mean i wish i had crit but you can't have it all you know um but very very powerful card it looks like already and it's good because its effect actually plays with the sparking a little bit you know you need to have you know x amount of you need to have a bardox crew in the in the drop and you need to have five minimum so seems pretty cool that's cute Next one is Jean, Mother of Hope. Another Jean card, but this one's blue, of That's course. Goku's mom. Goku's mom. Oh, okay. I've never seen her in the show, so. Uh, I didn't even see her in the movie, in the Bardock movie. That's really weird. Yeah, it would be. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, I don't know. Uh, when I think you I'm bang them, people know who she is. So this is pretty cool because when you combo with this card, if one of your blue Bardock cards is being attacked, this card gains plus 5k for the duration of the uh, plus 5k combo power. So she becomes a 0 plus 10k, so. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, having other 0 plus 10Ks, sure, doesn't draw you a card. Obviously, we can't have more super combos and break that rule, but <laughs> you know, <what>? this, seems, <laughs> this seems pretty cool. Uh, just having a 0 plus 10K, it makes it so that the deck can push, I feel like, or defend a lot easier, and maybe it becomes something. Like, this no, seems being like attacked, not one in attacks, so it can't push. Oh, it's snap. A okay, okay, my bad. Yeah, it would be kind of cool. I was like, wait, it can't push, but no. Can't push. Can't push. But very good defense, along with the leader ability to defend very well, and it has a you know above average attack already. So it seems like a cool card. I definitely wouldn't see myself not playing it. It seems like reasonable. Kakarot, bearer of fate. We have next a one drop. When you play this card, draw a card. Always the best when you're playing a one drop, of course. But we're playing it for the activate main ability here. Place this card at the bottom of the owner's deck. Choose one blue Saiyan card with an energy cost of one in your drop area and add it to your hand. Don't know how many... Is this a Saiyan? It, yeah. Okay, so no, you can add Jean all back. All Saiyans, like, we, we can see it. Does, it does replace itself. So, like, uh, you can play a draw card and then place this at the bottom. So then put it away. Uh, grab, let's say, the same copy. Because yeah, this is a blue Saiyan mm, also. Play yeah. another one, draw a card, and oh, milling might be a thing. Let's say if Janimbo becomes oh, yeah, more popular. Be thing, yeah. Or burst being annoying. Something like that can just replace uh, gas. It's not the worst. It's not the worst. It seems like something, uh, a cute form of recursion for sure. Then Prince Vegeta, just one drop, 10k. I, I don't know why they keep making these things. <laughs> he looks cool. Yeah, no, I like can it. look cool, but like all the 1k, 10, one drop, 10ks, just. They don't make sense. Eventually, I feel like eventually they'll make something that uh, that will benefit it. Like you know how they did in Tournament of Power, they have uh, they had the Magetta or the Bomato or whatever. The one that pumps everyone. Yeah, yeah. that pumps all your one drops. Never worked. And, yeah. yeah, never worked, but it was cool draft strategy. Maybe it'll become a meta deck one day, and yeah. it'll be called like the White Weenies of Dragon Ball Super. Really quick, will this someone ask a question? Do you think great apes will come back? Um, they I, haven't have, I haven't seen apes in a while. Yeah, but this is a Bardock set where apes were mm, originally from. True. Um, so, kind of interesting to see what can happen. I don't know if the yellow card that brings out two apes is required by only t yellow apes. 
But uh, it would be really cool if we actually saw some apes in blue. And if we play the yellow card that lets us draw two cards and play for free, that could be huge. But we we I haven't seen what's spoiled yet, so yeah, we've only seen a second. blue, unfortunately. But um, still pretty good so far. Burnished Bonds Torah, mm. and this it looks like every single one of his crew has a Burnished Bonds and a Planetary Invader form. So you got two copies of each. So this is the first copy of Torah that comes out here. This is a three drop. Uh, I like how they're trying to reduce the cost if uh, a Bardox crew is in your drop area because it plays along with Do the we thematics know what that card and stuff. Does yet or no? What Bardox crew? No, that's the uh, that's a little like uh, characteristic at the bottom. So like you know, uh, Universe ah, Seven okay, or okay. Universe Eleven. So it's going to be really cool because it's all going to fit together really nicely. This guy has barrier and uh, for an activate main. You can pay three blue, so this is probably going to be a mono blue deck most likely. Place yeah. this card in the drop mm -hmm. area. Choose up to one final strike Bardock from your deck or drop area and play it, then shuffle your deck if you look through it. I think on Facebook I saw final strike being like a five drop. Um, I forgot exactly. We'll go what over it. Was, it. I think it's on here. It's in here? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm, I'm excited now to see what this big guy does. Um, but that's just pretty cool. I love how Bandai is continuing to play cards that bring out cards from the deck that are not just Union Absorb. Right. Like, yeah. I, I hated it that it was just Cell. I can do this or, you know, like Super 17 channel. Can't imagine you hating it that much. You got it. <laughs> like, <laughs> I still hate it. I don't like that Cell is the only it. time that I get to look through my deck, you know, oh, like, okay. and Special Summon, essentially, because I come from Yu Gi Oh! So yeah. that's Special summoning is so cool, right? Lame. But you can only do it with like so. It's just so crazy. But I'm glad that the Bandai is kind of like now freeing up or leisuring up and being like, okay, let's give them more things that special things from the deck. Um, now we're just waiting for something to be super competitive that does that because we've had a few that have been like the pen. Yeah. It's been like, eh, nobody's really playing it. But this card seems really cool depending on like what the what the supporting cast is, right? Like. It really just depends on that. But and this is his other form, which you were you're talking about. Yes. Right? So now every, I think all of them have a three-drop form, which is the uh, Burnish Bonds, and then the one-drop form, which will do something. And that's a Planetary Invader. So um, this is a one-drop. This is when you play it. Choose up to one Bardock's crew in your drop area. Add it to your hand. Okay. Yay. Pretty simple. So essentially just drawing a card from the drop. Well, it depends. Maybe they have a super combo. That's a Bardock's crew. Oh, yeah, that would be, be sick, really cool. yeah. So you can grab back Super Combo. You can stuff. recur your 0 plus 10k. Seems good. Yeah, let's see how that works. Awesome. Now, the uh, I guess the, the buffed version of uh, Fasha here. Fasha. Fasha. I am your Fasha. Uh, critical. This one has Critical. So the other one had Barrier, the Torah. This one has Critical. And if a Bardock screws in the drop area, same thing. Gets a little bit cheaper to summon. Really two like drop. that ability. Yeah. Yep, two drop, double blue. Place this card. In its owner's drop area, so a lot of these you have to drop them in the air, drop area, so they have to die, right? Yeah. Just kind of like in the movie, they die and Bardock gets stronger or something. Uh, choose up to one Bardock's crew in your battle area, switch to active mode. Okay. Second um, attack. Well, that that's the thing, the the five drop Bardock that I remember seeing. Might be very it, powerful. It has an effect that uh, <coughs> when it stands, it, it does something. Totally forgot what it does. I think it makes your opponent like discard a card, but um. Yeah, I, I'm starting to see where the combos come. Yeah, seems cool. Uh, two drop, attack, crit, right? And then drop, put it to the drop area, restand another dude, attack again, you yeah, know? Yeah, no, that's cute. So it seems pretty cool, depending on how good that Bardock is, but we'll look at it later in this video. Planetary Invader Fasha, so the one drop here uh, for Fasha. This one's pretty cool. You're going to probably need it if you're playing this deck. Look at the top five. Top five? Yeah. Have we had a top five searcher? No. Top All right, it's only been three seven. and seven, right? That's ten. cool. All right. I there's like a, it, Bandai. I see there's you. There's a 10 one, too. Uh, choose up to one Bardox crew among them and add it to your hand. Okay. Yeah. Staple. Need it. Someone just mentioned right now where it's like, might be a blue-yellow, because it's true. Like, let's say you actually drop this one drop. You can evolve it if you combo with the big apes, because it is Fasha. Same thing with Toa. Like, if you mm. you, you didn't play those monkeys yeah, that much, that's but true. Like, they did have monkeys that can evolve over oh, these things. They can just go over any, right? Yeah. Same it's a, it says those things, and if sure? I yeah, I'm pretty sure it, it never I'm, was. I'm gonna look it up just perfect. in case. It just in case we're mistaken. <laughs> where it was like, oh, yellow fascia. Man, that would be really cool. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. You can't spell fascia. No, I just put a period because I thought it would have a period. I mean, a comma. 
Uh, during your turn, you can one Fosha in your battle. Yep. Yeah. So any Fosha in your battle area. So yeah. you can play the apes. So you can have a blue yellow deck. Ooh, that's and you just, pretty cool. I and love the just, combination. Yeah, of yellow. you just keep the apes in your hand, mm -hmm. and then your opponent's just like, oh, whatever. It's a mono blue deck. They'll probably see you burst it, unfortunately, because you're playing a burst leader. So they'll, they'll probably see it coming. But man, that's really cool. Yeah, it, it's options. So like these one drops already get effects, and then you can make them even stronger after. That's great. I think that's probably why they avoided making these yellow, because yeah. I think it would have been way too way too good. But who knows? Oh man, I love this card. This this Shigash is beautiful. What we learned about Shigash is really good. Yeah, <laughs> Shigash. <laughs> Panda has For some no some like infatuation with Shigash, but then in the movie he just like first one to die. It's crazy. Uh, Burnish bonds Shigash. This one's a three drop, just like all the others. This one doesn't get its uh its a bill its um, energy decreased, but it's fantastic. Not only did he make him just one blue, so you can splash him in any deck, not not just a Bardock screw deck, but he has the same ability unleashed uh, Gohan slash power charge Bardock effect. Now we got one for blue, blue. Merry Christmas! I know Jonathan is probably like yeah, you know, that's cool. super excited. Right, <laughs> he attacks. Draws a card or double strike. So very, very good auto ability. Remember, your opponent has to throw in a gate before you actually choose. So if they throw in a gate, you draw a card. If they don't, I guess I'm just, you know, lethaling you from two to zero. Yeah, no, so, it's a big deal. Huge deal, actually. Very good card. I can't wait to, to play this. I know Jonathan can't wait to play this. I know he's going to be brewing up some spicy new mono blue deck somehow with this and uh, one of the one drops that we'll see probably next, I think. Yeah, I think it is next. Yep. But Boom. two hitters. Back to back. Yeah, he looks wild. This guy's insane. This guy looks swole. Swoller than Peter Catania. That man looks like he's about to <laughs> just ravage some decks. Burnish Bonds, Borgos. And he's a one drop. So beautiful already. Auto, draw a card. Fantastic. Auto, once per turn. During your opponent's turn, if your opponent switches their energy to active mode using a non-awakened skill. So I'm glad that they avoided the keyword because then a lot of things wouldn't work. But this is this pretty much hits everything. Uh, choose up to one of your opponent's energies and place it into the drop area. Not a fan. What? Yeah, because it says during your uh, opponent's turn, like if I was able to play it and not worry about the bean or the, the negate that untaps too, it would have been oh, huge. Oh, yeah, that would be actually pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, huge. But like the fact that it's my turn, people are not playing um, Soul Striker, they're not playing Golden Frieza, and you don't have to bean on your on your turn to ex uh, extend. So it kind of hurts 1 2 swap if it means anything, because 1 2 swap uses uh, unyielding trunks and bean to keep going on to their plays. So you do have a card that helps you, but it is also once per turn. Man, it's not a bad card. I'm just hating because it says. <laughs> He's got to be double yeah, advocate. Yeah, like. <laughs> like <laughs> It says during your opponent's turn, so I'm like, eh, and then I think about swap, I'm like, oh, that's not the worst. Eh, it could do stuff. And, like, if they use that against me, if I play Golden Freeze, I'm going to be like, oh, that's annoying. But, <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, yeah, just, Golden Freeze. Yeah, I don't this, know. This guy just ravages Golden Freeze. So, um, all right, so I'm just going to say how amazing this card is since you already just, like, uh, pretty much gave it the the cons because it does have cons. Every, every, day, every card has its cons, right, even Crisis Crusher. Um Speaking of Crash's Crusher, that card destroys this card. So that's pretty unfortunate. Um, I wouldn't assume that Swap is going to play Crash's Crusher, but if they do, kills this. So uh, they could also play Sun Goten to kill three or less with a combo and stuff. Oh, Crash's so, Crusher, I mean, Swap is going to start have to play some wild cards. Yeah, they're going to have like, to play. Under, like, to counter whatever's being brought to them. Which is good because that, that means it makes it less consistent and less explosive yeah, maybe definitely. you know but it is still going to be around this is not going to be the end of swap the uh, the new two drop goku right it has barrier very fun, yeah. um they're going to drops yeah they have to they play have to three drops two star ball it destroys barrier oh yes and doesn't need a shenron leader yep they so, like they have a, a, already a card out to deal with things but the fact that they have to run that so that they it's after side of course but we'll see no but, crisis crusher actually uh once per turn can destroy a one drop uh, oh, by the way, happy Turkey Day. I appreciate the, uh, the is that bits? I'm very new to, a uh, cheer. Thank you. Thank you for the cheer. What's a cheer? Pre uh, I don't know. Uh, it's just, some, it looks cool. It's animated. I think it's good. We're not, <laughs> <laughs> we're, not, <laughs> we're not very experienced with this, but thank you. I appreciate it. Happy holidays, everyone, of course. Thank you for joining us on uh, the gloryful uh, Turkey Day. Um since there's really nothing to do now, this is a perfect time to go over Dragon Ball Super before we calm down and fill our stomachs. I cannot wait for that. Uh, but yes, uh, Crisis Crusher destroys uh, once per turn, can destroy one 
one costed creature so mm -hmm. uh very very powerful it's going to be able to get rid of him but at the end of the day this guy drew you a card and he applied pressure and he he forced an action from your opponent which is there's really not much else that you can ask you know except for barrier yeah. cool. <laughs> uh next one here's a super combo that we were talking about and guess what he's not a bardox crew oh really they oh, trolled us really? super hard not? yep He's an alien. Okay. He is an alien. When Character Tulu. Card, I've never even heard of this guy. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that's just that's just sucks. Period. Your leader has to be Bardock's crew. Your life can be at five or less. I guess that's a saving grace a little bit. I'd rather just play the blue super combo that works at any time. And sparking five, for God's sake. Yeah. Clearly, I have a, a burst, <laughs> so I might as well use the sparking one. That's that's oh, horrible. Man. They they super snapped with this card. They mega snapped. They're like, ah, no, we can't we can't let you get back your super combos with. Sometimes like, you just have to give these decks a little bit more of an edge so that we can actually like want to play them. They should have made a blue Shagash. Yeah. It would have been perfect with the theme. Dude, that would have been awesome. You can actually... No, you can't play Shagash in this deck because your leader has to be... Yellow. Oh, God. Yeah. Sad faces. All the sad faces. Future Punch. I don't remember this scene at all. Oh, he's the guy that gives Bardock his power. Oh, really? Yeah, he's the guy doing this punch. The oh. alien dude is the one that hits him here. Oh, really? And when he got hit here, you unlock some psychic teleport oh. to the time thing. I, I missed, I missed that part of the movie. I, I came in like 10 minutes late, I think. But choose one. Oh, yeah. So choose him from your drop area. Place it at the bottom of your deck. Cool. So you get, okay. at least you get super combos back into somehow. your deck somehow. Choose all of your blue Saiyan cards blue and blue leader. Saiyan, yeah. And they get plus 5k and crit duration of the turn. End of the turn, all your Saiyans die. Wait, what? Nope. Yeah. Guess what? We're not playing. Guess what? We're <laughs> <laughs> seems like a, a That's good technical foul. Seems like <laughs> seems like a good finisher. You put the super combo back into your deck. Uh huh. So how you, that some, you somehow That's you, at you, that point. You, <laughs> you somehow shuffle your deck. You somehow do the Peter flick. You draw it. All your guys have plus five K and crit. And you hopefully win the game right there. It's cute. It, before I knock it and be like, oh, it's completely useless. It is cute. Um, it's not something you're playing turn two or turn three, maybe. Eight or it, it's only cool because let's say you play two of them. Then you give everyone plus 10k. That's huge. So, like, I, I shouldn't knock it too much. And then they die. Uh, but they have all this. They die twice. They have all the ability to put uh, things in the bottom, like replace themselves and do some effects. So maybe it's actually good. So, all right. And you, at worst, you can just play it with your leader and you make your leader plus 25K, uh, well, a 25K crit for the turn. 25, yeah. And then you recycle a super combo. So you're like, if you use a super combo early, you're Not just like, the put the super combo back, attack, 25K crit. You know, your opponent has to dedicate two cards to that. You just traded one, so eh. It's okay. It's not, it's bad. not bad, yeah. Even by itself, it's okay. It's, it's, one, it's one energy, so... Um, this is the card that has an SPR version. Fun fact, this is the first time Bandai makes an SPR extra card. Ooh. So it's really cool. It must be good, though. It's got, like, oh, good luck in the next world or I whatever on it. We saw it. We saw it in the preview, like, video, I think. Okay. I think it's it should be somewhere down here, I think, hopefully. Um, but it's really cool. Uh, this is a pretty interesting card. It says draw four on it, so I'm immediately interested. If your leader card is a part of the crew. You draw four, I started reading like, <laughs> You're like, what? Where does this say this? Uh, Bardock's crew leader, of course. Choose a blue tour on your drop area. Send it to your warp. Draw four. Choose one final strike Bardock, which is the one that we've been talking about. That's okay, the five drop. drop. That should be amazing. Switch hopefully. to active. Switch to active mode. So you can actually switch to active mode twice in the same turn by two different cards. Fantastic. <laughs> And it gains plus 10k power and double strike for the duration of the turn. So you play this first, then you can Fasha untap and attack again with double strike plus 10k. At the end of the turn, untap an energy so you don't die. Okay. Seems good. Like I said, all depends on the final strike Bardock, I think. But oh, it's four mana. Okay. I'm yeah, it's like, four. Wait, how much does this cost? It's just one? <laughs> yeah, I thought it was one. I'm like, oh, this card's good. No, very good card. Also, this is a rare and they're making and this SPR, they're making SPR. this into an SPR, yeah. That's weird. So it's really cool. Dream the future. Negate the attack, and if your leader card is a Bardox crew, you may choose one blue card in your drop it in your hand, put it in the drop, and add this card back to your hand. So cycle. Oh, it grabs back to the gate. Yeah. 
doesn't seem the worst. I think it's pretty. Yeah, that seems that seem bad. Cool. Negates, but not this one. But you're blue, so like a lot of the time you're gonna want to play Dimension Magic. But I would probably play just one copy of this, maybe. As you said, Dimension Magic. Dimension That's Magic. One. Yep, seems you pretty good. But uh, all right, so I don't know if this There's has. No five drop B. Okay, I'm you gonna pull, I'm gonna pull up the five drop regardless. Right, how you gonna pull it up? I just want to make sure that it's not in here anywhere. Uh, Oh, no, I'm interested. How are you pulling up the five drop? Uh, we have it on our Facebook group, guys. Join Facebook group PPG DBS. PPG DBS is the Facebook group that we put all our Dragon Ball Super news on. And we're going to pull it up right here for you guys so that we can go over two cards that weren't actually spoiled. The Final Strike Bardock and the SPR, I guess the SPR uh, art, which is really cool. Uh, all right, oh, let's first cool. go with the Final Strike Bardock. And move this tab over here. And, uh, oh no. You had everything there we go. Ready. Okay, <laughs> awesome. Final Strike Bardock. This is the guy, why, this is why we're playing Bardock's crew. That's awesome. Wait, so three, like by turn three, you can bring out this this drop that has a barrier. That's big because the the Toa or Tao, the his Toa. best friend. Oh no, uh, to, uh, Fasha. No. No. Uh, to, oh. Uh, the guy with the T. T O R A. Tora. Yeah, Tora. I Tora. think it's Tora. Yeah, that's it's a Tora's name though. No, that's you know, Toa. Right. Toa. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Well, the fact is, the barrier five draw that comes out by turn three because you pay three blues to put them in the bottom. And oh, bring that's right. Out. That's right. Yeah, the guy that brings them right it out. out. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's turn three and turn. four... Four. I don't know if you have to put him in the bottom deck or drop area, but then you actually just use the four drop thing to give him plus 10k and double strike yes. and draw four cards. There's combos you can do with it automatically, so you see the potential. Uh, when this qu this card is switched from rest mode to active, if your leader is Bardock, your opponent places one card from the hand to uh, to the bottom of the deck. So it's like a discard outlet too, so every time it stands. Oh, that's sick. You and don't have to attack. That's yeah. sweet. Um, and the fact that it's barrier, like... On the beginning of your turn, your opponent automatically has to get rid of a card oh, if, it, if it lifts. Snap. Yeah, they can't pop it. It's barrier. That's so true. He, he has a lot of good use for him. He's not bad. I and do like this. And he's a 25k. And it's blue, so you know defense is always going to be one of the best things. Man, this guy's insane. Yeah. He seems you really can, good. You can see the annoyance. I like, I like being able one. to attack the lead. I like being able to attack their hand, honestly. The fact that only one can be on the field makes so much sense because imagine like two or three on the field and they all on top. Oh, and God. Cards gone. That is insane. Like some reanimation deck like Shenron with yeah. this guy. Pfft, Here, insane. have it. <laughs> this is the SPR version of it. So we see kind of what the feature rares maybe might be or maybe – well, this says SPR, so I don't think this is going to be a feature rare, but – we look, we, we kind of see what the theme of the SPRs are going to be. They're probably going to have a bunch of text on it. Kind of similar to Tournament of Power where they had signatures. Here you're going to have um, um, any type of like maybe like uh, their little phrase, keyword, or catchphrase or whatever on it. So seems pretty cool. And then we have, there's one more thing on here on our group that on, somebody posted. I think they Show posted me. the SPR version to this card. Oh, okay. So this is Toa's red armband. So that's the armband when it was white, and then he, like, had a oh, bunch of blood on his hand, yeah. and then it ended up being red. So that's why. I think I heard, I heard, I saw somebody comment, like, that white brand, uh, the, the, the <laughs> armband's white. And it's like, well, in the other picture, you can see why it's red. But, but yeah, this is, uh, this is the SPR. I think, yep, down here it says SPR. So this is another SPR that we're going to be getting. And, of course, with the, uh, with the catch raises on there from the movie. Now, now I question the, the thing that gives everyone critical and then kills them at the end because I never want that barrier guy to die. So I yeah, probably would never play true. it. I probably would never play it. Well, maybe. Let's read it again. Does it get around barrier or something? No, nah, nothing gets around barrier. No, it, if it says choose. Cards. If it says choose, though. Yeah, but your opponents choose. But, but if, if you choose, choose yourself, you're fine. You're thinking Shroud from Magic. Choose all, all same cards. Mm -hmm. But you're 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 the active player. It's your cards. You're able mm -hmm. to touch your own barrier cards. So this card affects your. Are you sure? Is yeah. that how it worked uh, with Broly? Well, yes. Oh okay. Right, yeah, cool. you're able to touch your own barrier cards, mm -hmm. and that's the problem with it. Mm -hmm. Same I thing see. with Indestructible, even though it's a word no one knows anymore. Um, <laughs> the thing is, if you play this right, and you're on your kill, you have to be on your kill turn, mm -hmm. and then. You get multiple attacks with a Bardock. So that yeah. Bardock has crit plus 5k and it's taking cards from your opponent's hand like two two or three times, right? Because the Fasha restands it too, that Fasha. 
This is the one where I want to know. It's place to the owner's drop area. Yeah. Okay, cool. So uh, turn two, you play this guy because you have something down, right? Turn two. Then you, uh, turn three, you bring it uh, the five drop out by playing three. Cool. Not a big deal. And then turn four is the perfect time to play this card. Or sorry, this card. Bam. And that's how turn two, three, and four looks. Mm. So cute. Not bad. It's cute. I don't think you want to do that exactly on the, the Bardock on three. You're probably not going to want to swing with it or keep up Dimension it's Magic buried. or something like that. Yeah, it's you can keep it up. Yeah, you yeah. can keep it up. Yeah, it's that's fine. You rest. So you're getting rid of almost uh, two cards because it rests for your turn. It stands for your turn. Uh, you swing again, then play this card. Stands himself back up, so they got rid of two cards. Plus now he's a uh, double strike. And if you have a Fasha on there, then yeah, if you if you have the world, cool, but. No way to bring out Fasha in time. Oh, no, it's not that one. Because she's it's also two. a two-drop. She's a two-drop, She's two, something yeah. you do later on yeah, in the game. Yeah, you might not be able to do it on curve, all that stuff. But, yeah. yeah, for sure this is something that can go into the mix. Or maybe you can hold back the Bardock for the big turn, and then you can play this and the one-drop thing. All right, now I'm more interested to see, does it require a leader? Oh, sorry, bam. Let's see. Does this? And it needs a leader, right? Yeah, okay, because I'm about to say, man, we're going to play a yellow leader <laughs> with shoe gas. We're going to do some plays. <laughs> Please, this guy. But you need a Bardock crew. Okay. Shame, but oh well. Do you think they'll give us another Bardock crew leader? Um, Maybe like a rare? Or I, I think the theme boosters have always been um, no rare leaders. Oh, you're right. It's one of almost anything. Like one of this blue, one of this green, one of this. It's a shame. Yeah, it is a shame. I wish like, they would give us at least two commons. Two common blue or like blue. new sets bringing new universe stuff like universe 7 could use new cards just for fun stuff or um, I, I know Bandai mentioned something about these wish leaders um, there's another set that wish is coming out and then wish is done so they have awakened wish they're going to come up with something new afterwards but um, I need new stuff I need new stuff because <laughs> this is being the only green I heard you like leader. Broly and uh Bro yeah. is going to make a Getting huge a movie comeback. Stuff. Yeah. yeah, of course. They know how to push product. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it for the blue guys. Uh, thank you guys again for joining us on this holiday, Woo! Thanksgiving. Can't wait to go and eat our tur respective turkeys. Wait, wait, hold up. I want to I oh, read yeah. these things. Splash for hype. Use it for early pressure. Play blue green. So very, cool. like Khalifa stops it. I look into it, but that's pretty smart. Is Bardock's crew a new tag? Yeah, it's like a new uh, characteristic. Yeah. None of the old Bardock leaders are Bardock's crew. We have no. a new block. Well, the thing is, they call them all blocks, but they're they don't they don't like rotate. push other cards out. Yeah, they don't rotate cards. As of now, who knows? But they call them blocks, but no, with no intention, no intention of doing anything. But we'll see. Wait, does that Zarbon card that restarts any? Oh my god, that's cute. Yeah, yeah it restarts I think anything. It has to be it. Oh, no, it restarts anything on yeah. defense though. So. Yeah, or when your opponent attacks, but at least you get rid of a card. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. You attack with it, and then they attack you, and then you're like Zarbon. And all, all you do is get rid of a card out of their hand, and that's cute yeah. and not bad, but there's no other way to rest it on your opponent's turn. So you're literally wasting a card to just get rid of one card in your hand when on your turn it was going to restand anyways. But just in case your opponent has a lot of pressure to kill it, I guess. That's probably the only reason. That's the only reason. Yeah. That's it. Like you don't. But wanna, it's blue, so like, it has the best magic. Yeah, it has the best defense magic. Has the best defense. magic. Yeah, yeah, there's so much magic in blue, man. <laughs> it has the best defense, so like I don't yeah. see a 25 dying at all. Shouldn't be too. And your super combo activates at five, so hopefully by then. No, no, I'm playing the real super combo, the one with sparking and everything. Maybe. Well, there's no maybe. That's 100. percent I don't need to be playing this. This. We gotta give it a try. Poke thing. Yeah, no, we can try. <laughs> the but, poke thing. <laughs> yeah, whatever that future punch thing. I don't need it. <laughs> But, um, yeah, yeah you, you already know pretty much the staples going in and then what engine you're going to play. But, yeah, pretty good, guys. Thank you guys again for um, spending the time with us Yay. Uh, and going over blue. We felt like we had to cover it as soon as it came out because it was pretty hype. Uh, but, of course, we're still missing rares and we're still missing super rares because oh. there was a Goku that we saw that wasn't in here. Uh, I don't know where they pulled up that super rare from this Final Strike Bardock, but... Uh, it, it wasn't revealed. on the website. Yeah, it, it was on revealed website, somewhere. So. On, the, on the video, I think. Maybe. Yeah. But this is a really good v image, though. So maybe, I don't know. But I know some of our members helped us out. You know, shout out to Joel for posting uh, a few things that we missed. But thank you guys again for watching. Till next time, we're going to hit up the next Clash of Fate spoilers. 
Um, and to the rest of you, happy Thanksgiving, everyone around That's the world. That's a question real quick. Yeah, what is it? PBC Black Friday deal. It's going to be online too, by the way. Black Friday deals, uh, TCG Player is going to be pretty much advertising and making an announcement soon, hopefully by the end of tonight or tomorrow. It's probably going to be something crazy, like 20 or 25%. Uh, kickback. So what a kickback is, is you pretty much make money while buying stuff, right? So you'll buy stuff at our normal, like lowest price normally, and then you'll get back X amount of money. But the in-store is 15% uh, off singles, right? So anybody who doesn't come in-store will get that TCG player kickback, which is like, like I said, I don't know what they've spoiled yet, but it's probably going to be 20 or 25%. Who knows? Something crazy where if you spend like $100, you'll make like $25 back like for free. And then our in-store um, deals will be 15% off singles uh, and then sealed product it just depends uh, all of it will be marked down so just come in anyways but everybody online if you can't live by PBG I know that's a majority of you TCG player which is ran you know our websites ran by them you'll be able to get a big big kickback so definitely check out that but that's pretty much it I like it you have anything else to say uh, happy Thanksgiving guys oh yeah his gift box opening is going to be on YouTube later so it's going to be fun Oh, yeah, put that up already. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good one. We are out.